Electrics are an 11 frame job that are locked in behind 3 frames execution, making it 40 frames if executed properly and at the fastest rate possible. They are notorious for being one of the very few launchers in the game that are plus on block, with the drawbacks being a high move, steppable to a side, and of course, they are locked in behind execution and cannot be buffered. There are this correlation between minus 14 frame moves on block and electrics as a punish. They have been running since the existence of electrics, it says, if you are in the zone and can constantly do electrics at 14 frames, you should be able to launch minus 14 frame moves once you guard them. But they weren't achievable because electrics, no matter how fast you can do them, they cannot be buffered. Therefore, you have to time your first forward input within the first available window, and do a perfect frame electric in order to launch it. This challenge is now in Tekken as a double just frame execution. Up until Tekken 7, minus 14 frame moves on block used to have different block stuns between each other, which make this practicality of launching characters at minus 14 frame moves on block an impossible task unless you were Kazuya. Yes, I mean Kazuya because he was always able to cheat that double just frame window. See, Kazuya has this mechanic called misstep, and from it, he can skip one input of the electrics execution, making it 13 frames instead of 14. This makes possible to launch characters at minus 14 frame moves with a 2 frames window of lenience, where he can either launch at perfect frames or be 1 frame late and still launch characters recovering from it. After Tekken 7, Namco has seen Akuma's level, which was something they thought it was on the same threshold of doing extreme difficult stuff in Tekken as landing double just frames, being mastered at a high level. So they wanted to do something of the same legacy for the iconic moves such as an electric. In order to make electrics punishable, achievable and practical in a match at the same level as Akuma, they made significant changes in Tekken 8. First, they made sure that every single minus 14 frame move in the game has an unified block stun. You can still use it to time your forward just as before, but the drop factor of inconsistency still lingers. Secondly, they also added a sort of recovery hint in animation to every minus 14 frame move on block, to give you an idea when that move hits an ideal window to time your electric. But what they did last to make it consistent it's unique to Tekken 8 alone, as you can now buffer a dash out of a block stun, you can use this last change to buffer a forward out of a just frame window, and on frame 1 of a dash input, the rest of the electric to launch a minus 14 frame move on block using any Mishima in the game. Your electric still going to have to be a, a 14 frame execution window, but having that time is going to make a world difference. Kazuya and Reina, since both have a way to cheat, still makes them even more easier. But characters such as Jin and Devil Jin are able to make the most of this change to land an electric as a punishment block, just as a Jujutsu Kaisen character would land a Black Flash. 